that away. What's up you guys, this is the Fake Proficient Lunkers. Welcome back to the channel. The striper fishing has been taking off the last few weeks here in the California Delta, all right? Area of us been catching them up from Sacramento to Antioch, Pittsburgh, to the East Delta, South Delta, North Delta, West Delta. Early in the season, uh, I would say maybe about mid-March, I was throwing big live baits, throwing big top water baits, got a lot of followers, but not a lot of commitment, all right? And you know, as you can see my channel, I've been posting a lot of unedited footage just so guys to kind of get an idea um, not just where I'm fishing, but get an idea that, you know what, what I am throwing out there at that time. Now, we didn't get no commitment. However, we did get a lot of followers to the bait. It went back to the Lucky Craft Pointer 100 SP. That's what I like to throw. However, when it got deeper, I was throwing a saltwater series jerk bait. With all the followers, there was no fish that was committing. However, I went back to ground zero and that was throwing the jerk bait. And the jerk bait always comes through. Now, you're not gonna catch a lot of big fish. You might eventually catch one or two big ones here and there, but we wanted to use a search bait just to catch the fish and that was the jerk bait itself. The Liquid Craft Lure came through at the end of the day and we found some fish, a couple keepers, brought a couple of keepers home to make some dinner, but nothing big that was over, I think about maybe four or five pounds. So when we first got in the morning, we were rolling to our first spot, taking our time, creeping up, and we almost got hit by a boat, by a bass boat, right? Um, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna pinpoint fingers to see who it is or I'm searching who it is. I'm glad I meet my partner, we were fine. We heard the boat take off, blasting, cutting corners, and the boat almost hit us. Um, it was about maybe four to five feet away, it sped off. You'll see some footage. Just remember, when we're fishing on the water, it doesn't matter if it's on the bank or on the boat, safety first and keep your eyes out because you could be taking your time and keep an eye out for yourself to make sure that you're safe, but other individuals might not have the same intention and they just want to drive recklessly on the Delta or even on your legs and people could get seriously injured. So luckily we were fine. We did go back into fishing and I went back to what I wanted to throw about last year, throwing the smaller baits and that's what it is, throwing the smaller bait wanted to fight some fish and we were catching it now on the sacramento river it is getting to the end of the season but guys are catching them like crazy all right i'm talking about the quantity to buy the people are limited out almost every single day um cars are lined up boats are lined up um but you know what it's been hot but man the fishing's been great this spring just for stripers and you know what i highly recommend for everybody to get out there now this weekend is very important you guys if you want to catch your biggest striper in this season i would say you have to go out this weekend the reason is because saturday sunday and monday it's cloudy you're going to have some rain on sunday and then monday a little bit more clouds that are going to drift away but that means that the next three days it's been hot and warm the last two or three weeks i caught my biggest striper my cousin caught his biggest striper right before a storm during a storm or even a little bit the next morning after the storm so I highly recommend if you guys want to get out and catch your biggest fish, this is the time. Whatever you're doing, request this weekend off, request a time off, go out there, all right? It's sunny, it's sunny today, it was sunny, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow, but the wind, the weather is gonna, the, the wind, the clouds are gonna start kicking in. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it is very crucial. If you want to catch a PB striper, this is the type of weather. With my old video, when I was talking about the tips with the 90 seconds, I'm talking about this is the perfect formula. You're gonna have some wind 10 to 15 miles. You're gonna have high tide early, early morning. And not just that, you're gonna have overcast. The big ones are gonna bite. The big ones that have been coming in to spawn, they're heading out. The ones that have been sitting back of the waters, they're coming out. This is the, I will say, I don't know if it's gonna be the last wave, but I've looked at the weather for one month ahead already in May. This is the storm. This is the last storm in the springtime. You don't wanna miss out. If you wanna catch your biggest striper, take the next three days off and let's go get it. Let's go catch some big fish, right? Now, enough about that. Let's go on to the next announcement. Now, I wanna thank everybody who's been supporting the channel. We are about a little bit over 850 subscribers. Our goal is 1,000 subscribers, right? So I wanna thank everybody who's been supporting me, who's been there since day one, and take the time just to watch my content and also interact with me on the comment section. But remember, you can also find me on Facebook or Instagram and definitely here on YouTube. So on YouTube, I want to give back to everybody. Now, the goal is to hit a thousand subscribers. So, one lucky winner is going to win a Daiwa Fuego Jerk Bay Rod. Now, this is a seven foot medium. Okay. Uh, my, my rod of choice is about six, six or seven foot. 
medium or medium heavy but i prefer to kind of have that medium heavy just because um when i'm throwing jerk baits you know i don't really have to work the lure as much especially with the liquid craft pointers you know just a little bit jerk and it's already walking it's 70 bucks 70 bucks brand new i think it's discontinued but people who do like throwing jerk baits i think you guys can make use of this i'll be giving out a liquid craft jerk bait all right the saltwater series now this lure uh i actually uh don't really throw this lure this is more of a sardine colored okay but one individual is going to be winning this bait right here um this dives i think about 67 feet this is called the lucky craft pointer 100 deep diver all right 100 deep diver one lucky winner is going to win this bait right here all right and on top of that you're going to also win a brand new rod four other winners are also going to be winning uh, the decal package but one lucky winner will be winning this rod so without further ado thank you for check checking into the channel check the video out much love you guys i'll check you guys out in the next video and hopefully you have any questions go ahead and comment down below remember like comment subscribe and share i'll check you guys out in the next video he didn't hit it he just go up there like you know oh god oh there you go baby finally to see Ah! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh man! Oh dear, dude! How? Man, this sucks, bro. <laughs> Lost that little fish, man. <laughs> Oh, I told you, man. They make sandy antidote, bro. I think it's a safe fish only, though. That's for like a 20 only. Damn. Hello. <laughs> like for real, it's all corroded, man. But I told the guy, the guy said he's gonna, he just needs to, he doesn't want to buy, spend money. He did not, he doesn't touch his motors too. So I'm like, yeah. So the thing is, you're selling, you're selling to the guys who also knows what they're doing too. You know. Oh, dude. Oh. Finally, bro. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I'll get people. Finally, bro. Yeah. I know, man. That's not why I'm so excited. I know, dude. They're here. They're here. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Back to a lucky crab jerk bait. They're all air fails. They're all air fails. Man. Look at this, it's been a long time. That's <laughs> why so I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I can do bear hunting. I don't know if I can fucking do bear hunting, man. Look, oh, oh, another one. Oh! Let's fish the whole weekend. Yeah. It's got to be a tournament. That mini boat has a tournament going on. Oh, oh, got another one. Another one, jerk bait again. Ooh. So, ooh, it's a fight right here. It's a jerk bait, man. At the end of the day, this is what they want. Lucky crab jerk bait. Let's go. It's a fighter, bro. Uh, there you go. <laughs> a bunch of dinks, bro. 
This morning, bro. Another one. Jervais hot, man. Jervais hot, just like last year. It's hot. It's hot. They're here. They are stacked. Ooh, this is a big one, bro. Ooh, look, it's a fighter. Let's go. Let's go. This is a big one, bro. Ooh. Might be a big. Ooh, this might be a key. Ooh, look at that. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Come on. My I can they stop? Oh! <laughs> They're getting bigger, bro. This is a keeper for sure. We're keeping this. We're taking this for dinner. Woo! Let's go. Jebe, huh? There's another one. I thought that one was better. That one's better. No, no, that one's not good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's colored nice, but that one's better. There's, there's a white one in there. Is this a keeper? I don't know. Let's get a... Do we got magic tape? Oh, okay. Is there magic tape in there? Should have been one, right? I think there was one the other day. Damn, it looked like 17 only, though. It is a fat 17. Oh, yeah. I think last time I was in the seat, but... Six, nine, Might not be a keeper, bro. Nah, that looks short. Yeah, short. Let's go. Let's go, Nick Crab Swim Bay, man. I mean, Jerk Bay. Lucky Crab Jerk Bay, man. Oh. So, we're early in the season. The stripers are stacked in here. They didn't want nothing big. So, right now, we're going to go right back into the old school style. We're taking it back to the classic days. Go to Jerk Bay. You find it? Yeah, that's the one right there. We'll take it. Let's take it. Yeah. Let's go. It's a beautiful bait. One thing I like, to, one of the thing I love about these Lucky Crab baits is that it's got the big scales right here, and I, and I love that. Not a lot of baits has that, so you know you see your regular one tone, but having that scale to me is just it's flashy. Lucky Crab 100 SP. We've been through four trips, and um, we scumped three trips, a lot of short strikes on our swim bait, but now you know coming out. The jerk bait had finally prevailed. And I remember last year when I was throwing other baits, it didn't work as well. Throwing swim baits, top water, swim baits, they didn't really pick it up. Uh, but as soon as I saw to the uh, Lincoln Crowd jerk bait 100 SP, always comes through. Much love. All right, here we go. Another one. Yeah, This would be perfect searching weather right here. You know what I'm saying? 